Now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. I promise if you stay till the end of this video, you're gonna know more about controlling your finances than anybody else has shown you on the internet. And I'm gonna show you with transparency exactly how we do this. Now budgeting, I think, has a preconceived notion, first of all, that it's like the Dave Ramsey style of managing money. But budgeting is more than just trying to save money at the grocery store, clip some coupons, and worry about where every dime is going. Budgeting is more about being smart about your money in multiple ways so that we can invest more, we can save more, we can have more fun, but all together we can utilize the income that we're already getting in a better way. Today that's what we're going to talk about, but I want to start with your income. Now everybody hopefully watching this video has some sort of income. So I want you to think about this pie as income. Now income could come in from a different source. This might be a W-2 job. And then let's say you've got a, a side gig selling something, which is 1099, and then you make your own side business. Like all of us have, we live in a gig economy, we all know that, which means people are doing different gigs. All of us usually have multiple sources of income. Maybe this one makes me 3,000, oops, maybe this one makes me 3,000 a month, maybe this one makes me 1,000 a month, maybe this one makes me 500 a month, the numbers are subjective, that's $4,500 a month, that's the income. The point is, guys, with our income comes the bad side. Think about every box of your expenses. Think right now what your expenses are. That's where I want to start with this. Is you drawing something like this, or you could just take the image that we started with, and right now you could paste this image, and you could start writing out what are my expenses? Cell phone, car, insurance, food, grocery, travel, Medical, fun, kids, sports. Of course, I understand that everybody's got different expenses, but the point is, if we can't quite literally go on a piece of paper and know line by line our income, and line by line our expenses, then we're not going to know what that bottom line number is. See. We're going to talk about this later, but you might have the goal of making and saving $1,000 a month. How can you do that if you're shooting from the hip? You need to know where every penny goes. Think about it like this. I think a lot of times people think budgeting is only for people that don't make a lot of money. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how even I budget, how I look at money, how I track it. Not a lot of people do it the way I do it. By the end of this video, you're going to realize Man, I need to pay attention to it more. I've listened to podcasts with some of the most successful people on the planet. You know what they say? They look at their money every day. You need to start looking at your money every single day. You need to literally open up your bank account and say, what's in it? Where did it go? What went? I look at it every single day, every single Amex, every single Capital One, every single day. I know. I'll, I'll know what's coming out of my account tomorrow. Not a lot of people know that. And you need to pay attention to that. So with that said, speaking of this, I want you guys to start to track your money. In order to budget, you've got to track it. We can't budget by just magically thinking, well, I spend approximately $100 a week on groceries. Well, no, last week you spent $104. That's not $100. You need to know exactly what you're spending. But most people in the world have right here what's called the ostrich effect. What is the ostrich effect? The ostrich effect, also known as the ostrich problem, is a cognitive bias that describes how people avoid negative information, including feedback that could help them monitor their goals and their progress. Instead of dealing with the situation, we bury our heads in the sand like ostriches. This avoidance can often make things worse, incurring costs that we might have not had if we had just faced it head on. What does this mean in layman's terms? You don't look at your bank accounts. You don't look at your blood pressure. You don't look at the scale. You don't look at your health. You don't look at anything because if anything is wrong, you're not willing to take that ownership. You're not willing to take it on and say, it's because of me. I'm broke because of me. I'm overweight because of me. I'm not hitting my spiritual goals because of me. And a lot of people, they just simply Oh yeah, I'm doing fine. They just haven't looked at it. And they'll say they're doing fine. They haven't looked at it. Fun fact for you guys, 33% of people, that's it, that 
money every single day. This was a study done by Lexington Law. Only 33% of people are paying attention. That means the majority of society is not looking at their money every single day. So they don't even know if somebody got in their bank account an accident. They don't even know if the deposit from their 1099 commission was wrong. They don't even know if accidentally there was a mix-up in the payroll system at their job, at their W-2 job, and they didn't get hit with the money. They don't even know because they didn't even look. And how can you expect to hit financial goals without looking? Now, if you're not looking at your money, how do you know you're on track? Again, backtrack your goal. I want you to say, maybe you want to save $1,000 a month. If you want to save $1,000 a month, I need to figure out where I'm spending $1,000 a month. Guys, this is not about increasing your income today. I know I've talked about it before that I say most people don't have a spending problem, they have an income problem. But the reality is, raising our income is one way. But there is a lot of people, especially in 2023 and beyond, this is the expense line here, they've been spending too much. They spend too much on food, they spend too much on Uber Eats, they spend too much on groceries, they spend too much on everything because they feel like they want to live the life that they lived in their past when we were all unemployed and receiving more money. We got all this money. A lot of things happened back then that have changed the way that we think. And we can find this thousand dollars. Maybe it's a hundred bucks, maybe it's 10,000 bucks. It's different for everybody. We can find the money. We have to start looking down at what I'm spending. The amount of people that I know that are in a bind, they might be a little bit closer to what they're what they're making and spending, they're kind of break even. The amount of people I know that are like that, and then I see them drinking a Starbucks coffee. When was the last time you saw Patrick Kenny drinking a Starbucks coffee? Never. I see them going out on the weekends, or I see them traveling. I thought we were trying to save money. We have to be serious about this. And listen, if you're not serious about it, that's fine. This is not for you. But if you're serious, you need to start to track your money. So that's lesson number one of today's video. We need to pay attention to our money. We need to track our money. You must do the math and determine where you can save money. And then maybe you can earn more. How can we earn more? What can I sell? Can I sell things at a garage sale? Can I go and get a part-time job? There's so many ways to make money. We all know that. We can go Postmate. We can go Uber Eat. We can go deliver for... Instacart, like we can do all these things and make an extra $100 to $200 a day. We're lazy. We don't want to do it. That takes hours. But Patrick, I get off at 5 p.m. and I want to be with my family. Okay, what do you want more? Family life or a little bit more money? What more, what's more important to you? Every single day, I receive an update on my money. This is the key tip right here. Why is it that people that are that close no money in savings, don't look at their money. And then one of the key traits that I've noticed, the people that make a lot of money, is they look at it every single day. I don't understand the difference. Well, I think I know. I think it's because people that put focus on their money, put focus on their money. And because they put focus on their money, energy flows where energy goes. And we're starting to see those people increase their income because they're focused on it. So, every single day I receive an update on my money. This not only helps me budget, but it helps me know what I'm worth. Because do you think income is more important or net worth? To me, it's net worth. Because that means I'm building the assets that will generate me income in the future, that I can eventually cash out of. I can buy X for 10,000 bucks and sell it in five years for 20,000 bucks, or whatever it is. That asset didn't go away. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I get daily updates for every single cash account that I have, personal and business. Imagine every single day I get an update in a, in a PDF document that shows me to the penny what my cash account balance is today. Right now, I know what my cash account, account balance is as of this morning. And every single day, it can fluctuate. I spent money, I accrued interest, whatever it is. Every day, I get an update on my cash accounts. Every day, I get an update on the current value of my stocks. Within the last 10 minutes, it pulls the update. Every day I get updates on my crypto. Every day I get updates on my credit card balances. Every day I get updates on the current value of the real estate that I own. Now that's interesting because every single day I know to the penny what I'm worth. Yesterday I might have been worth 
less than today, or maybe yesterday I was worth more than today. Based off what I own, the assets I own, the money I spent, the money I made. The point is, guys, we have to start looking at this. And some of you guys are thinking, man, that sounds overwhelming. It is. You have to start to plan. You have to go every bank account line by line. What do I have in this bank account? Credit cards. What do I owe? House. What is it worth if you own a house? Liabilities. What do I owe on my car? What do I owe on the house? Then stocks, crypto, you name it. The point is, I look at it every single day. And you should too. So with that said, I have a document that shows me money earned, spent, and accrued with interest across all of my accounts. So every day I get something that looks just like this. Guys, this is pulled directly from me. Nothing fake here other than, of course, privacy of what I'm spending my money on and how I'm earning my money. Look at this. These are the dates. This is a deposit. Here's a withdrawal. Here's a payment to Capital One. Here's another deposit. Here's a payment to Amex. Here's a payment to Chase, payment to Chase, payment to Chase, payment to Chase. Payments. Here's a cash withdrawal. Direct deposits. You see this? Stock split, dividend on a stock, cash transfers into an investment account. Every single thing is right in front of me. How am I supposed to know where my money's going if I don't see it all in one place? Now, here's the magic of this. I can see everything in detail over here. So the amount column on the right side here, as much as it's blurred out, I know exactly what I spent, what I made. You need to know where all of this is at. You need to look at it. You need to pay attention. Now, you might not have this much action. You might have one bank account, one credit card. Lucky for you. I have, I don't even know how many credit cards, and I frankly don't even know how many bank accounts. Luckily, it's tracked. As you grow, you need to continue to do that. I don't know how people are moving on day to day, not knowing where all their money's at, not knowing what they owe, not knowing what they spend. You need to be precise to the penny. Secondly, I get a daily net worth report. What does this mean? This means every day I know exactly the value of all my assets. Every day I know exactly the value of all my liabilities. And assets minus liabilities, assets minus liabilities equals net worth. The point is, I have a net worth report every single day. I know, and this is just page one of six, for this specific day. I pulled this for December 4th, 2023. This is just one day. I had six pages where I could see the value of all of my stocks, all of my crypto, all of my investments, all of my real estate, all of my cash, all of my everything. I know exactly what today's change is. I know exactly what I made today. I know exactly where the money went. Guys, this might sound overwhelming. The point I'm trying to make is, if you guys go and get a personal trainer, what does he do? He's gonna make you count your macros, count your calories, go to the scale. If you go to a financial coach, they are going to make you do the same things. I'm just giving this to you for free. This is the type of stuff you must track. Now you can track this anytime you want, it just takes the discipline to go out and actually get it done and do it. The point is, you won't hit your goals if you're not looking at your money. How do you expect to hit a money goal? How do you expect to get to that next level if you don't pay attention to where your money's going? You don't pay attention to how it's coming in, the amounts, what it looks like. Is your cash account and your net worth dwindling? Is it going up? Sometimes we often uh, look at our accounts and we say, man, things are tough right now. Money's dwindling. I've looked at it before like that. And then I look at the net worth report and it's going up. My cash account is down but my net worth is up. It's because my cash has been deployed to things that are appreciating in value. Human beings have a hard time sometimes because we look at the cash as a blanket, it's comfort. Now, every single day with great detail, I do this. And I want you guys today, if you can, to go out there and Google and find a net worth tracker. Set it up so that every account all of your green, which is your money in, and all of your red, which is money out, gets condensed in one document. And you know exactly where it all is. That's the goal of this topic of conversation. But we're not done yet. The next video 
below here that you guys can click on will be on investing. And this is where I'm going to start to shape your mind. Now that we talk about our goals, this is the second video we talk about our money and budgeting. When we talk about budgeting, we're now going to get into investing. This is where the mind starts to take shape. i got a lot to talk to you about. I hope you're enjoying this series. We'll see you on the next video, but click like before you leave to let me know you're liking this, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.